Огибайте. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, thank you. Designed to attack with speed, stealth, and surprise. 
join us and witness these majestic birds as they soar through the skies of Dubai Safari. All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. How are you guys doing today? Okay? Good? Yeah? What about on that side? How's everything going? Oh good. That's great. Okay, again, everyone, welcome to Dubai Safari and welcome here in our Birds of Prey show. By the way, my name is Mac and I will be your presenter for today. Well, later on, birds will be flying all over the area. But before we start, here are some of our safety reminders. First, food is not allowed during the show, because we don't want our raptors to be sharing food with you. Next, avoid any unnecessary noise or movements, such as whistling, calling the birds' attention, raising your hands up, and even running around the area. Last but not the least, this is for the parents or guardians. Those who have kids with them, make sure that your kids are seated next to you. Remember, we are dealing with dangerous birds. So can you all agree on this? Yes. Yes? Yeah. All right. Well then, let's begin. The best way to open up the show is to showcase one of the medium-sized bird of prey. And other than our lesser small eagle. Okay, let's go, I'm done. Okay, look over there. Alright, never ready, I'm done. is a medium-sized bird of prey. But even though they are not as big as other eagles, well, their hunting skills and character will definitely make them true eagles, the strong and fearless birds. Let's respond with eagles. They are the neural, meaning that they are more active during daytime. Yes, and they love to hunt rodents and other smaller birds. Let's respond with eagles can be found in many countries in Europe. And you know what, folks? They are now classified as priority for conservation. Yes, because these type of birds are hard to reproduce. Meaning, if there are so many are killed from their species, the population of them will definitely suffer. All right, so thank you so much, Hamdan. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice round of applause once again for Hamdan, our letter spotted eagle. All right, so after our the urinal bird, let's now invite on stage the nocturnal bird, the bird who hunts at night, and other than the owls. Okay, so first we have in here our boy owl. Let's go here. Yes, wow, so cute. Good job, in here. Is it good? All right, great. Okay, why don't you come up to me? There you go. All right. So again, folks, this is in here. Our barn owl. Well, they got the name barn owls because they do nest inside the barns, shelters, or abandoned houses. Why do you think so? Okay, what's the color of in here? Can you tell me? White. White. That's correct. Imagine if they are going to nest outside. They are very obvious, right? They can easily be seen by their predator. So staying inside will keep them more safe. All right, it seems like you're really excited to go back home. Okay, now let's invite on stage another species of owl. And here comes Butch, our great white owl. Okay, there he goes. Wow, look at that. Well, you know, folks, um, just like other birds, they have different sizes. So if we are going to compare this one to in here, the one that we saw a while ago, our barn owl, well, which here is a bit bigger, right? Well, owls, they are nocturnal. That means that they are more active at night. Yes, they have very excellent eyesight that they can catch their prey 
in complete darkness. They can also rotate their heads for up to 270 degrees. And you know what folks, owls are also called as, or owls have specialized feathers that have marvelous sounds when they fly. Yes, that's why they're also called as the silent hunters of the night. Well, if you look closely to their face, or to his face rather, well, you can see that heart shape, right? That heart shape is what we call facial face. And this, this absorbs all the sounds from their surroundings. Yes, it goes directly to their ears and to their brains. So through that, they can easily identify whether that sounds are from their prey or predators. Okay, so we have to use the how about a big hand for our owls right here. Thank you so much. Okay, now for uh, the next rapper that will be gracing the stage, it is the proud symbol of the United States of America. Behold, the bald eagle. Okay, so first we have Hunter, our male subadult bald eagle. Okay, 
So turn your legs ask me, take this our guest. There you go. So get ready, all right? Are you ready, guys? Okay, now here comes our garden. Uh, by the way, folks, this is Brita, our peregrine cotton. So, cottons, they are the fastest flying birds in the planet. Their speed can reach for up to 390 kilometers per hour. Great job. Okay, finish your food. And there you go. Okay. So, turn our game. Okay, sure, are you there? Okay, right here. Okay, let's uh, take a few two first. Great job. Okay, Susan. Why don't you go through? Turn your left and right over there. Okay, let me do it first. <laughs> Alright, great job. There you go. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Fred. I'm going to give you a nice round of applause. For our lucky ball here. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, let's put this one first for you here. Okay, now for our next flying bird on stage, we are going to invite our female bald eagle to show you how to haunt their prey in the water. So, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Alex. into the water. What they do is they grab their prey and carry it away. Okay, ready Alice? Okay, so Alice is not ready yet. Okay, just finish your food, don't worry. Okay, so you might be ready. Okay, let's go Alice. There you go. Okay, let's try it one more time. Ready, guys? Because for some rappers, females are usually bigger than the males. And there are so many reasons why females are bigger than the males. First is their nesting duties. Yes, females are taking the lead arranging their nest. Next is being big could intimidate potential predators, right? Because they stay longer on to their nest. Just to uh, take a look at their eggs. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, have a nice round of applause once again for Alex, our female bald eagle. All right, so we're done with the raptor who haunts in the water. Now let's proceed to the raptor who haunts in the air. So now other than our button. So right now we are going to invite the stage another series of button. And here comes Ball Kiss. Woohoo! All right. Now guys, just to give you an idea, the thing that you can see on our trainer's hand right now is what we call lure, a training tool that used in falcon rig. And the falcon, lure represents food. And in order for them to get it, they need to compete and interact with their trainer. Now let's see if our Falcon here can catch that lure. So watch and enjoy. Wow, look at that. Now you might be wondering how this Falcon can see the lure from a distance. 
Well, it is because they have an extraordinary vision. In fact, it is eight times better than humans. They can see their prey from almost two kilometers away. Imagine that. Well, you know, the falconry is the traditional Emirati sport that has been practiced for so many years. It requires patience and cooperation between the falconer and his bird. The falcons are also called as the living missile. Yes, because their speed is their weapon. They can catch their prey in mid-air, just like what you saw a while ago. All right. A good day, huh? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for our button together with Fernando. Okay, so we're down in the water, in mid-air. What else? Land, yes. Okay, so now we are going to embark on stage our golden eagle to show you how to hunt their prey on land. So ladies and gentlemen, here comes Medusa. Medusa? Well, you know, Golden Eagle is the national bird of Mexico. They got the name Golden Eagle because of the golden brown plumage on their head and necks. Golden Eagles are formidable hunters. Because of their speed and sharp talons, they can snatch up their prey. In fact, they can take down even an other deer. Okay, finish your food, Medusa. Alright. Now, can you see those two talents right there? Those talents are very powerful. In fact, we can compare it to the force of a bullet because they can crush the skull of their victims. Imagine that. Okay, great job, Lisa. And you know what, folks? Their wings are very powerful as well. Yes, because they can carry for more than 50 kilograms. It's more than double of their body weight. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I want a big hand for Medusa, our golden eagle. Oh, still in Oh, the three is uh, very tough, Medusa. Okay, now let's embark on stage the raptor who hunts. Carpenting, and other than the butcher. Okay, so first up, we have our turkey butcher to join us here on stage. All right, let's go, Teresa. There she is. Great. Okay, again, folks, this is Teresa, our turkey butcher. Well, they got the name turkey butcher because their head looks similar to the turkey, right? It's red and bald. Well, they are well known because of their legendary long distance visions. But aside from that, they also have very good sense of smell. Well, if you look closely to their nostrils, it's so big and hollow that you can see right through. And those nostrils are sensitive. Yes, because they can smell dead animals lying on the ground from almost two kilometers away. Great, right? Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I want a big hand for Teresa, our turkey butcher. Alright, now yeah, after our small butcher, why don't we buy the stage the bigger one? And other than the frequent butcher. Let's go Mike! Get ready to turn up because 